Welcome back, my friends. We're going to play some more Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri Alien Crossfire. I've just finished producing a gunfoil in the last episode. Okay, apparently that's all I can produce at this place. Let's change that to sea formers because we need that. We'll put him on explore, and hey, we have information networks. We can now build the Alpha Centauri equivalent of a library, which is uh, called the network node. Let's go with um, Progenitor Psych. Okay, I can build new ships and new units. This place is building sea formers. Let's queue another sea former and a network node. Actually, let's put the network node. Um, how do I move it up? There's a way to move it up. Insert. Oh, there we go. Okay, figured it out. And how's Port Svensgard doing? Yes, please build a former and not a military vehicle. And let's get a library up in this hizzle. Okay. And we're going to skip through a shitload of turns. Oh, it's going to tell me about Mind Word Combat, which is my favorite kind of combat because it makes that noise. Hey, and we got another interlude. Probably because we fought some mine worms. You tap through the report from some perimeter scouts, perturbed. It was the first known contact with the off-worlders, and it did not go well. Of course, you are off-worlders as well, and perhaps these things are the real natives returning home. A quick link to the visual data feed from the advanced rover catches your attention. The image blooms on the screen in full color. color. The rover pilot staring across planet surface and speaking sideways on into the feed. We're doing a routine patrol of the border now. Looks just looking just for signs of whatever is out here. These are the times that he breaks off, and you find yourself clutching the thin metal surface of your desk, anticipating. Whoa! Comes a choked interjection from the pilot. The camera swivels to the outside. Tracking word. Make that two unknowns. Outside the rover. Outside the rover, an alien lurches, hunched beneath a load on its back. The alien's strange gray-green carapace is outfitted with a strange silver plating that looks like armor. You take the controls of the camera and zoom in, taking in that inverted pyramid of a face, those eyes set so deep in the folds of the skull. They look sinister, but you never know. Maybe their faces are just stuck that way. You zoom back and take a look at the alien's burden. It is another alien slumped over the carrier's body. The pilot throws open the rover's hatch, and the entire cockpit fills with a strange wail that ebbs and flows. The pilot curses and hesitates at the door. Worms, breath. I can feel that. Through my chest. In my head. You flip down the volume. The sound vibrates through the rover. The alien turns slowly, and you can see the one that it carries has scars on its face, as if eaten away by a mine work attack. Greetings, says the rover pilot, but the alien just looks at him. Who are you? The guard talks again, and now you hear it, his own voice returning, as if echoed from the alien, but with a strange warble that seems part of the wailing. Can you understand? And those words come back as well. The pilot shakes his head helpless. Finally, the alien turns away. And we successfully recovered a unity pod containing some money! I don't know why it gave me that interlude. Oh, okay, I see why. Because right over here, Decision Manifold is the home base of the aliens. So it's unfortunate that I'm right next to them because they are the worst at diplomacy. Okay, let's let's call up Ak Ak Ak. Oh, okay, we need to research some shit first. Okay, we found some more money. And we just progenitor psych. Okay, now we can build sea farms. Great. So, uh, it was saying earlier in that Book of Planet interlude that, uh, the alien was a victim of a mind worm attack, so that's a cool, uh, little, you know, sci-fi element to this game, is that, uh, there's natives to the planet, uh, of, okay, the planet that we're playing on is not called Alpha Centauri, it's in the Alpha Centauri system, and the planet is called Planet. Yeah, just roll with it. So, the, the natives of of planet. It's, I sound so fucking retarded saying that. The natives of planet, uh, let's go with applied physics, are these mindworm creatures, and they 
assault your units and their prey with psionic attacks, paralyzing them to a point in which they can get close enough to bury into your brain and lay their eggs in your skull. Which is pretty fucking rad, if you ask me. There's lots of rad shit about this game. It's a rad, rad game. And now we built a sea former, and we're gonna get him to... Automate. Where is it? Automate unit. Um, what is the hotkey for that? Shift A. Okay. Whenever I play Civilizations, any Civilization game, Alpha Centauri, Civ Five, whatever, I always automate the workers. <laughs> I have Swaglord Denzel Washington of the Vape Nation on Channel Two. Shall I put him through? Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk to Denzel. Welcome to Planet, Commissar Christoph. You may bring many unique talents to our new world. Permit me to reintroduce myself. I now style myself as Denzel Washington, the swag lord of the vape nation. <laughs> and I plan a, and on this world I plan to reap the rightful rewards of skillful investment and planning. <laughs> Through cooperation we can achieve mutual satisfaction of needs. Will you transmit files of Centauri ecology in exchange for industrial economics? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that seems good to me. Uh, that is satisfactory, Denzel. Thank you. Discovery of the industrial economics allows me to do... Sure, let's, let's go with free market engineering. It gives me a bunch of stuff that I don't know what it does. Okay, this is getting too complicated again. Uh, hit OK, move on. Uh, he wants... Uh, knowledge on building ships for knowledge on science, but I will say I will give him something else. So what does it say? Okay, so I clicked on free market. I get energy, eat more energy per square. Uh, I get extra drones for each military unit away from territory, and I produce more fungus. Okay, let's just, this sounds bad to me, but democracy sounds good. Uh, no free minerals, no, okay, increases growth rate. We like growth. Growth is good. Growth is good in the original Civ, growth is good in this game. We're going to go with growth. Oh, uh, 32 energy credits. Yeah, we can do that. He wants flexibility again, and he'll give me social... Uh, I'll give him mobility. He really wants flexibility. No. I'm sorry. And now he's threatening me. I <laughs> Pay me. I will give it to you for money. Sorry, no check, no tech, you fucking asshole. Oh, now he wants the declaration of fees. Alright, whatever. Vape Nation is magnanimous towards me. Uh, let's be friends with Vape Nation. <laughs> Let us prosper together in peace. Vape Nation and the Nautilus Navigators have much to gain from this friendship. I believe we're finished here. So there is, there's his, uh, says this unit belongs to another player, it's Swaglord Denzel Washington. So, since we're not at war at him, I'm just gonna go back to automating. It has provided sufficient... Oh, okay, great. I finished my network node. Yay! Oh, Queen Beyonce. Queen B Beyonce's Destiny's Children, they already built the first facility, but that's okay. Uh, okay, my former's built a kelp farm, that's good. What am I building after that? Sea farmers, Q. Oh, right, we can build structures now. Let's build some structures. We're gonna build a children's crash, because we want some education and homes for our children's. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to go with the weather paradigm after that. That seems like a great idea. Because we want to be able to terraform shit faster. So weather paradigm is basically this game's equivalent of... Oh. Hmm. Change. Yeah. 50% retooling. Five minerals will be lost. That's okay. Retool. 
62 turns. Alright, that's way better than 100. And then we'll build the children's crush after that, and the network node after that. Great. Uh, weather paradigm is this game's equivalent of pyramids. It makes your workers build shit uh, half as, twice as fast as they used to. So we're going to go with that. And this we're going to replace with uh, recreation commons. Insert. Delete. Cool. Oh, fuck. Okay, great. There we go. Oh, we got swept away by a tidal wave, and now we're... Everything moves, everything's moving way too fucking fast. We got 100 gold! Alright, that's great. Aliens are jizzing on Vape Nation. <laughs> oh, God. Everything about this is too intentionally... Okay. We'll watch the cinematics, you and I together. Cinematics in this game are fucking awesome. I love every single one, but we're gonna skip over the, uh, the quotes here. Okay, we can build, uh, laser skimship. Alright, that sounds good to me. We're gonna rename it the NADNER gun. And on guns on all capitals. Okay, what can we research? Hospitals, um, chemistry. We'll go with the uh, do loyalty doctrine. Turn complete. Oh no! Why am I having drone riots? So turn on my governor, which will take proper. So you just. Okay, you just get a doctor instead. I think that's what I remember doing. There we go. No. So basically, my, my I have too much unhappiness in my town, and the drones are rioting. But by turning some of the drones into doctors, that mitigates the unhappiness. It says hunger right here. Oh, because I have a thing on that tile, okay. So I'm getting a lot of energy. Let's turn on the governor and make sure he keeps building my children's crush. Oh, I have Provost Brendan Baker of University on Channel 3. Shall I put him through? Yes, Brendan, let's have a chat here. Ah, the heroic Commissar Kristoff, first among Nautilus navigators. I lead a university, and I'm honored to be his provost, Brendan Baker. We intend to pursue research unfettered by outside motives and meddling. Have you heard of, from Denzel Washington recently? I have not been able to locate him or his Vape Nation <laughs> faction since time of planet full. Well, they're, they're too busy smoking dank memes in order to actually do some science and research with you. He will offer me 20 credits for my trouble, and I will say yes, give me that money. What does he want? He wants flexibility. Um, give me secrets of the human brain. Yeah. Let's continue with the current social model. I like my democracy. Uh, he wants ethical calculus and will give me planetary networks. Um, I will give you progenitor psych. How about that? And he gives me probe teams. Uh, no. He wants to give me a copy of his map. No thanks, Brendan. Could you transmit to... Okay, no, I, I'm... Nothing is free. And he wants to be my friend! Yay, Brendan wants to be my friend! And Brendan's my friend! My good friend, Brendan! I believe we're finished here, Brendan. See ya! Alright. I think we're gonna... <laughs> they look up to... Oops, no way. I think we're gonna do a little save save rule here. We're gonna take a break for today. Uh, Christoph of the Navigators. Oh, you know what? We'll just name it. So I don't forget which one it is. And, uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great night, gentlemen. Ladies, too. Have you got something to tell me? Please come up and tell it to me.
to me Please come 